Okay, so it's probably now one o'clock in the morning and you leave on your trip in about six and a half hours. And so let's get to putting the gear into the pack. You've done a great job in culling the gear down to a very usable amount of gear that you're taking with you. So let's go from there. So first of all, let's just check the pack, make sure there isn't other gear in it that uh, maybe the last student who had this pack out had in there. Okay, that looks good. Perfect. So first thing we're going to think about with packing the pack is waterproofing it. These packs are somewhat water resistant, but not fully waterproof. Very simple way of making the most important things in your bag waterproof is taking a garbage bag, just, you know, maybe a heavier weight garbage bag would be better, and just lining the pack bottom with that garbage bag. The next thing you're going to think about when you're packing this pack is accessibility. So when do you need certain pieces of equipment? So what you don't need most goes in first. What you need most goes in last. Pretty simple. So sleeping bag, you need it waterproof and you don't need it during the day. So it goes in first, nicely compressed, and we'll stick it down in there and we'll turn it sideways and really make sure that it's good and down into the bottom of the pack. That's the first thing. Second thing is we're going to uh, probably think about the tent because that again doesn't need to be uh, used during the day. The thing about the tent is that it's a pretty bulky bag of, of, of gear, but it's in three pieces, three distinct pieces. So what I would recommend doing is taking it apart. Taking one of the parts of the tent out, so maybe it's the fly, maybe it's the poles, maybe it's the actual tent body, and deciding who in your group takes what. So I'm going to take the fly, Angus is going to take the tent body, and maybe the other, the other uh, maybe the gnome will take the, the, um, take the poles. And then I'm just going to stuff this in. And in doing so, I'm thinking about another of the big issues with packing, which is density. So I'm trying to put that in and make it as dense as possible. So I'm stuffing it right down in there. I'm going to set the rest of the tent aside for Angus and the gnome. Next, we're going to move on to our base level clothing. This is the clothing that we do not want to get wet. So it's going to go right down inside the bottom of the pack and shoved into place. Again, as dense as possible. Okay, from there we can uh, move into putting the, the stove um, and the fuel into the pack. The fuel, of course, you do not want inside the garbage bag. You want it on the outside. So it's going to go inside the pack and down the side. Just slide it in place and get it low in the pack. Because if it does leak, you don't want it leaking on your food. So don't put the, the fuel up high in your pack. Um, from there, we're going to move to the food. And we'll put that into the pack. We can also move to the pots, and you'll notice that I have put my bowl and my cutting board and my spoon into this pot, and put it in its little bag if you have one. So a very dense pot goes into the pack. Again, trying to make sure you find a space for it. It's a bit like playing Tetris, trying to find the spot for it. The stove itself can go down the side, nice and tight. And now we have all of this clothing that you may wear, but you may not wear, depending on the weather. So check the weather. If it doesn't look like there's any snow in the forecast, take your gaiters and stuff them down 
deeply inside your pack. Because you're probably not going to need them, but you have them just in case. Um, if it looks like rain, keep these really close to the top. If it doesn't look like rain, a little trick is to stuff it in down the side. And again, rain jackets do not need to be inside the waterproof garbage bag. Stuff them down the side, but leave a leg sticking out. And that way you can actually pull on it and voila, you have your rain jacket or your rain pants. So same thing with the rain jacket. Stuff it down the side, leave a sleeve hanging out. Wind jacket, it can go in there somewhere as well. Your nice warm jacket, keep it somewhat close to the top. Your gloves and your mitts, again, if it's not that cold out when you start, this can go inside your pack somewhere far down. You might be using them if it's colder out. Okay, you may be asked by your instructor to take a group tarp. They'd look like this, so have a little room for that and stuff it in. And then we get into a few of the other bits and bobs. So we have this part of the pack, which is known as the brain. This is where you put all that loose equipment that you need during the day. So that could be your water bottle. That could mean your first aid kit your sunglasses, all of your 10 essentials that we talked about already, perhaps all your snacks and lunch for the day, but usually I'll keep one or two of them out because we can keep those even more accessible. Your toiletry kit you can go in there, maybe even your toothbrush up in there, your map, and your, your uh, logbook and your sunscreen after you apply it. That can all go in there and then let's just close that up. A couple more things to go inside could be your, your mug or your thermos. Maybe you want to fill it up with water or tea or coffee before you go. And now we have a few extra um, pieces of food that we can have handy. These packs have this very handy little pouch here that we can put that readily available grazing food so that you can eat as you go. So let's put those in like that, like so. Uh, fleece jacket, again, can be stuffed in, making it as dense as possible, like so. Bear spray, if you are carrying bear spray, it needs to be accessible, so we're going to put it on our hip belt, like so, and that way, if we need it, we have it very handy. And then last but not least, we have the sleeping pad. If you're using one of these foam sleeping pads, they're quite bulky. Putting them inside the pack is quite difficult. So, show you how this goes on. So we're going to tighten up the pack, do it all up. Take our sleeping pad, put it over the top like so. Take the brain, go over the top, and then attach one side and attach the other side. And then just tighten it down so that everything fits nicely into, into place. If in fact you do need to bring the poles as well with you in your pack, you can put those on the outside of your pack. But if you do, make sure they are secured. So down inside this pocket here, like so, and then take this strap, undo it and go through the webbing in the side of your poles, your pole bag. And that way it is secure and it will not fall off. You'll notice that the pack itself does not have a lot of equipment hanging on the outside, swinging around which can fall off and get lost, or it can throw your balance off as you're hiking. So just keep it 
nice and mean and lean and, and uh, you'll look good in the photographs. Now we're at this stage, let's just talk about weight. So we want to think about weight distribution, which is where you put the heavy stuff in your pack. You don't want it too high and you don't want it too low, so heavy stuff kind of right in the middle of your pack, close to your back. It's kind of the, the way to look at it. And then finally, overall weight of the backpack. You want to be comfortable on the trail. You don't want to feel like a pack mule. So about 25% of your body weight is where you want to try and uh, shoot for, for your backpack. So you can weigh, if you have a weigh scale like this, a travel weigh scale, you can hook it on and lift it up and see where you're at. Um, if you have a bathroom scale, just do the math, carry it onto the bathroom scale. 25%. Okay, I got my bag packed. I got about five minutes to meet the class before the trip. So next time I see you, we'll be setting up camp.